Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat. You're watching iGAN and Honor has just launched the Honor 10. We're going to be unboxing it and taking a first look. So let's quickly get started. So the device has been launched and we have a pre-release box here with us. So we're going to be checking out the device. For details on pricing and availability, we leave all of those in the description below. So if you like watching our first hands-on videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon to get regular updates and notifications on our latest content. So the first thing inside the box is the Honor 10 itself. I'm going to place it to the side. If I go further in, I can see a SIM tray tool. Also inside the box is a standard USB Type-C cable. Now this is a really good quality cable. And you also have the Huawei Quick Charge charger, which will support 5 volt at 2 amps. And while quick charging 9 volts at 2 amps giving you a total of 18 watts of power so let's get rid of the plastic from the device and take a look at the phone itself so over at the front you do get a 5.84 inch ips lcd display and you can clearly see the notch on top now this is a relatively smaller than some of the notches that we have seen and the display is nicely rounded on the corners so that's absolutely fantastic the notch does house the front facing camera, which is a 24 megapixel F2 camera. You can also see the earphone grill and a few sensors over to the right of the earphone grill. Android navigation keys are on the screen itself. And below that also is a fingerprint sensor, which sits behind the glass under the display, uh, which means that we are heading in the right direction to get under display or in display fingerprint sensors. A few companies have already shown it off and Honor here has integrated it into their glass itself. On the bottom edge of the phone, you can see the 3.5 mm headphone jack, a USB type C port for charging and uh, data transfers. And you also have your microphone and your speakerphone. On the right is the power button and the volume buttons. And on the top is the noise cancellation microphone and an infrared blaster. Over to the left is the SIM tray. Now this is a dual SIM tray and there is no micro SD expansion. At the back, there are dual cameras laid out in a horizontal format. One is a 24 megapixel black and white camera and one is a 16 megapixel RGB camera. Both of them are at f1.8 and you can also see the LED flash. You can see that they have an AI camera branding there because they're using some of the AI features that we saw on the P20 Pro. On the bottom bit, you just have the Honor branding and a really nice curved glass pack that fits really well in the hand. Also because of the display being slightly narrow, it fits quite comfortably in your hand. If you turn the device on, you'll find that it is running Android 8.1 out of the box and it also has EMUI 8.1, which is great. You do have the ability to hide the notch on this device, much like the P20 Pro and the P20 Lite that we saw. So if you don't like the notch on the top of the display in the front, you can hide it. The user interface overall seems pretty responsive and it's nothing different from what we've seen with the company in the past. You can also change around the navigation mode to make a virtual navigation bar or get a single on-screen key or you can disable the on-screen navigation to simply use the fingerprint sensor uh, to navigate through the device. If you do that, it gives you a full use of the display, removing the navigation bar from the bottom. It's relatively easy to get used to and it basically uses gestures, but on the fingerprint sensor. Now, because this device does have a fingerprint sensor at the bottom, the bottom chin is not completely useless and it does have a purpose and a lot of people will like the fact that this phone not only has face unlock, but also a fingerprint sensor. Now running everything is a high Silicon Kirin 970 chipset and you also get a whopping six gigabyte of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage as standard on this device. The main camera can shoot up to 4K video, but that is only at 30 frames per second, not the 60 frames per second that is becoming more and more popular nowadays. The battery is a 3400 milliamp hour battery and it does support the supercharged tech, which will use the Huawei quick charge charger with 18 watts of power, allowing this phone to charge up really quickly. The phone is relatively lightweight as well at only 153 grams. This is a really compact and comfortable phone to carry around and it's not hefty at all. And it's really easy to use with one hand. One handed operation in general seems really nice and responsive. And the overall device also feels great in the hand. Now you do have a whole lot of apps loaded onto this device, including uh, some of Honor's own apps, things like the phone manager and the theme store, which again can come in handy to a lot of people. But for a lot of people, these things seem like bloatware and uh, depending on what kind of usage you have, you can disable some of these apps. Now, the camera remains the highlight for Honor devices. So you do get the AI camera, which will basically give you the best possible settings for the type of scenario you're in. So if you're capturing an image of food, it'll automatically detect that it is food 
and give you the best result. And in the same way, it'll automatically detect landscapes and people for portrait shots and give you the best results. I'm gonna be testing this out in depth, but from what I see, it manages to at least get the colors and the white balance on point whenever you switch to the AI mode. So that seems great. Also, low light photography will be improved because of the AI camera, and I'm gonna be testing that out. Some of the initial shots that I took seem to be promising, and I'll have more details when I have the full review out for you guys. Now, as far as shooting modes are concerned, you have a whole lot of options here. You also have the high aperture shooting mode, which basically uses both the sensors to give you a really nice depth effect on your images. You can also enable a few more options, which will allow you to take pictures using the AR lens, a full pro mode, a night shot, a panorama, and several other features that may come in handy for a lot of people. The front camera also has the 3D portrait mode seen on uh, the P20 Pro. So it allows you to get some 3D lighting effects on the front camera. You can also get a background defocus using the AI features of the camera. You can also get a bokeh effect using the AI features of the camera, which is great. Just using a single lens, they can manage to blur out the background and give you a good result. So overall, the device seems nice. If the pricing is right, it should be a good competition to the upcoming OnePlus 6, which should also be out tomorrow. And we'll have our video and content for that tomorrow out as well. So if you guys have any questions or queries regarding the Honor 10, do let us know in the comment section below and stay tuned for our continued coverage of this device and the upcoming OnePlus 6. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of Team iGAN. This has been Bharat. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.